actually uh, it's afternoon good afternoon <laughs> it's 12 15 monday september 9th my 72nd day on trail and last night was a rough night wow when i got to camp it was i didn't shoot anymore after the last time i talked to you it rained and rained rained while i set my tent up while i had to do everything so everything's freaking wet or damp it rained all night all morning <laughs> till about 10 o'clock so i did not even get out of my tent till 10 o'clock uh, now i'm climbing a mountain oh and the other thing was or is my kidney left kidney hurt all night long i mean it kept me up pretty much all night just a constant sharp pain i guess it's just this backpack sitting on it all day agitates it and it's probably the other stone that's in there so it gets all agitated oh tired of whining but it was a pretty rough night. Cold this morning, the temps dropped. It's not raining, but it is cold and cloudy. Can't see a blanking thing, Oregon. <laughs> so on another note, uh, just passed a no bow and uh, our cross path, I keep saying past. And uh, she goes, oh, are you the guy with the kidney stone? I go, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm struggling. I just got on trail. Well, hadn't even hiked a mile yet. She said, oh, me either. I waited till the rain stopped. <clears throat> so anyway, I said, who told you about my kidney stone? And she said, Bara. I said, Bara? She goes, yeah, she's about a half a mile ahead of you. So she must have passed me this morning, which officially makes me the last Sobo on the trail because she was but the girl told me she was only a half a mile ahead of me so i'm trying to catch her give me some motivation i haven't seen her since i started the trail the last time i saw her was i was coming back from the terminus and she was on the trail on her way to the terminus eating she's the one i told the story she's about five foot nothing weighs 100 pounds Every time I see her, she's on the trail eating, <laughs> cooking something. Uh, man, it's a pretty big mountain. So, yeah, I was pretty discouraged last night and this morning. I mean, I actually thought about getting off trail. I don't know how much longer I can handle this kidney stone pain. Uh, just wish you'd do something. Pass break up I just can't have constant pain it's just no fun uh, then I get to hiking and well, it's not hurting right now but when this backpack sits on it all day of course it is soaking wet probably weighs five pounds more than it should tent was dripping wet <laughs> it rained and poured last night wow it was nice and toasty warm though that dang quilt of mine i really like it ugq i highly recommend it 20 degree quilt and it's kept me toasty warm every night and it was a little damp on the outside but just because all the wetness in the air and the tent being wet You got some little views over there but if i take a picture of it it's not going to show up okay so that's my update i have no idea how long i'm going to go today not far and i was praying the sun comes out i'm going to stop and if it does and everything in my backpack's coming out it's going to be laid out for an hour <laughs> 
but I don't know what the, what the weather is supposed to be. It's sun came out this morning when I was packing up a couple times, but just for about 30 seconds. And these dark clouds roll back in. Whew. So that's my story. Wow, wow, poor me. But uh, just want to have fun. And this trail here lately, with kidney stone in the rain. All right, I'm going to take some pictures. I can see over there. Check with y'all later. I'll catch Bar up here eating somewhere. <laughs> see you, bye. Well, I got to the top of the mountain and it's still a little cloudy, but this is my view. Oh, there's a big lake or river down there. Man, come on, clear up. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep on hiking. I wanna catch Barra. Mess with her. I can't believe she remembers me. <laughs> so anyway, this is a little campsite at the top of the... I'd have camped here. I love camping on top and having views like that. All right, check with y'all later. Well, the trail uh, made its way over to the other side of the mountain. And look at Oregon trying to give me some little views here, trying to make up to me. I'm not happy with you, Oregon. Gave me a kidney stone, rain three days, starting to piss me off. Come on, camera. Uh, the Nobo I talked to this morning uh, said uh, it was a girl. I didn't get her name. She was really nice. I was telling her about the zombies and all that crap. <laughs> she was real talkative and nice. So I see, I see. She goes, yeah, we're here all trying to get to Canada. I said, yeah, but you're talking. You're not a zombie. So uh, she said she's done the whole trail. Went through the Sierras and she's, oh, but the point of this, <laughs> got off track. She said, uh, you know, I had mentioned, uh, there was, they said there was a chance of snow today or last night or this morning, whatever, I don't know. It's not cold enough to snow though. Well, you never know though, up here. But uh, anyway, she said uh, it is snowing in Washington. <laughs> Hearts Pass area. Wow. Yeah, with all this wet and rain this year in Washington had the early snow melt. <clears throat> They're probably going to have an early snow year. Pretty much uh, rule of thumb is for the Nobos is to be finished, be at the terminus by the end of September. It's, it can snow in September, but it's usually, you know, not big heavy stuff. And unfortunately, Washington has, like Alabama has, the wet snow, which, you know, it's cold and your feet are going to get soaked. And hypothermia is the big issue when you walk through Washington snow. Well, it's about 2 o'clock. Been uh, coming down the mountain here for the last... Uh, hour and a half pushing uh, probably at about five miles for the day still no sign of Barra she must be booking the last person I passed cross paths with said she was booking <laughs> but they said she wasn't that far ahead of me and in about 30 minutes I'll be hitting the 700 mile point I think I'm at 698 right now. <laughs> so I have to stop and build me a little 700 marker. <laughs> Unless Barr is doing that. Hopefully she is. <laughs> now I won't have to build one. Some people don't 
care. Some do. I do. It's another milestone. Yeah, my kidney's starting to hurt again. Actually, the whole area from my bladder to my kidney. It's the backpack banging on it. And still no sunshine. But it's not raining. <clears throat> Walking in the woods. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, I was reading some comments on gut hooks last night. And this sister's wilderness, people say it's one of the prettiest in Oregon. <laughs> and I haven't seen a thing. Too bad. <clears throat> oh, and I passed a uh, uh, Nobo guy up on, when I got up in the mountain, I took my rain stuff off. Cause the sun had come out, it got hot, it was warm. Now it's back in the clouds, I'm cold or chilly. But anyway, he said, <laughs> so the last three uh, Nobos I crossed paths with all thought they were the last Nobo. <laughs> And I said, no, you got people behind you. So pretty much the no-bows are thinning out. So if I can continue, I won't have to worry about fighting for campsites. <laughs> Actually, I haven't the last couple days. I've camped alone the last three nights. Or two nights. I didn't. Yeah, this is my third day since uh, Saturday. Yeah, third day since leaving Sisters, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, it's a very nice trail. It's uh, very smooth and just coated in pine needles. It's actually very soft. And here's some campsites. Had a little view there. <clears throat> well, I guess my kidneys are working though because it uh, <laughs> seems like every 15 minutes I gotta stop to pee. Here's a trail junction. So I need to see Pacific Crest Trail. Well, there's the old wet backpack. And here is the, my, I actually built this uh, 700 miles on the nose uh, PCT Sobo. Here's my old trekking poles. Cool. Another 100 down. Guess what? Frickin' Oregon started raining again. It's been raining since three o'clock for an hour. Sucks. I'm having a real tired time embracing the suck, as they say. <laughs> so I've done about eight miles. Uh, I looked at gut hooks this morning. There was a lake and campsite at 12 and a half I think which is another four and a half miles put me there at six time I set up it'd be seven blah, 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 like last night <laughs> put my tent up in the rain backpack soaked but it looks like it's about to stop skies lightened up from dark to light <laughs> so maybe that'll be it for the day sure do hope so 
because I'm climbing a mountain now. It's number two for the day. And it's hot in all this rain gear. So I got my rain kilt, full rain gear on. <laughs> when it's cooler like this usually I don't even put the kilt on but when it's cooler and cold you get your pants wet and your core down there wet cold you'll start getting cold <sighs> never did find Barra I'm wondering if she took uh, about two miles back was a lake resort which I, I wasn't going to it was Elk Lake. About every 50 miles, there's a lake resort. And you can go there and get a hot meal, camp out. They got a store. Charge your phones, batteries, that stuff. But the one, I'm going to the next one, which is, well, now about 42 miles away. Whew. I am tired, so I didn't sleep well. I gotta get a good night's sleep tonight. And this walking in, oh, when I got up this morning, <laughs> my socks, shoes, and everything I wear down there was just, I had to wring it out, it was soaked. And of course it was drying out till three o'clock. <laughs> now they're completely drenched again. And my feet are a little cold, not too bad. All right, well, I'm gonna put this up because I'm going uphill and it's raining on my phone. Well, it's about five o'clock. <clears throat> Done about 10 miles, 11 miles. <laughs> and actually, it's trying to clear up. Uh, the sun's breaking out over here where I'm going. So I've decided to take advantage of that. There's actually two lakes coming up. I was gonna camp at the second one, uh, but I was reading, it's an uh, there's an island in the middle of the lake. That's where the campsites are. Well, hell, if the wind picks up, that could be cold. <laughs> uh, and I'm tired, wet, cold. And if the sun's coming out, I'm taking advantage of it and going to this other one. It's kind of like where I was last night. It was a small lake and there's five campsites right before it. It's just a small lake. <clears throat> so, I am going to do that. It only gave me about 11, 11 and a half today. I don't care because it didn't start till 11 and a half. I mean, 11.30. And as I mentioned this morning, I didn't sleep well, I'm tired. <clears throat> it was cold this morning. So uh, I was talk. Oh, I ran into three more nobos. <laughs> uh, there was a German couple, and uh, they went through the Sierras in May. And uh, they, but they said they're finishing up the Cascade Locks, so they're almost done. So I guess he, he said, I guess they ran out of time. He said they had to finish by the 20th of September. So I guess they're calling it there. They're going to skip Washington. And uh, then uh, they told me to give a message to another guy behind him, Lobo, <laughs> about where they were camping. And so I, told, I gave him the message. He was an American guy. So I never did, oh, I asked both those couples, well, the couple and Lobo, did they see the Barra? And they said, no, they hadn't passed anybody to me. So she peeled off at Elk lake resort which means i am not the last sobo she is again <laughs> and i'll be uh i don't know five six miles ahead of her and uh, unless she's spending an hour taking a day off or something there but i'm sure she'll catch me but my uh Good news, my kidney hadn't quit hurting. So I haven't had any kidney pain. So I hope I don't have any tonight. 
and oh, been going uphill here. So anyway, let me let me get to camp, and I'm all, oh yeah, it's trying to clear up. I don't know if you can really tell, but skies are just ten times lighter, and it's. I think it's actually stopped raining. It's just uh, falling off the trees now. Well, I ended up uh, pushing on the, to the next lake, Dumbbell Lake. There's a ton of campsites. Hell, there's probably 20 campsites here. <laughs> the other one, campsites were crappy. So, uh, this is Dumbbell Lake, and there's camping out there in that little uh, peninsula, but the wind is whipping. And there's campsites, you can't see it, but hell, there's probably six, seven, eight on top of, uh, you can kind of see that rock right through there. There was a bunch of flat spots there, but it was more windy there, so that's why I came over here. And hell, you can fit seven, eight tents in here. <laughs> there's my tent. Wasn't too bad, too wet. And it's a little breezy, so it, it'll dry out. It's actually quit rain. It's kind of spitting every now and then. But I'm going to get some water. And I'm going to crawl in the tent, change clothes. Probably won't come out again. <laughs> it's starting to get a little chilly. It's a mile, uh, this is mile 706. So I did about 11 and a half today. Uh, but again, it's called Dumbbell Lake. Oh, and when I pass that other lake or pond... You know, there were two more ponds on the way here. Campsite, I mean, there was hundreds of campsites. <laughs> but I don't have to worry about the nobos anymore. They're far and in between now. <laughs> it's actually pretty late. Yeah, I can see some camping spots right on that little peninsula summer that'd be nice get a nice breeze and again you can up top uh right up in there there's probably bigger than this spot i'm in hell there's even some over here so i'm happy uh i'm gonna cook me some dinner tonight have a hot meal so i gotta get some water and start cooking all right i'll see you tomorrow